Welcome to part eight. We are doing blushing today. Also, we're going to do some sealing and we're going to matte. But right now I'm having a little bit of problem with this color red. One is, the first one is Scarlet by Sam. The second one is Blood by Silk Pig and they look totally different. What do you think? I think these swatches really do have a very different color. To me, this is giving off purple tones. And again, um, so Silk Pig is more purple and Sam is a little orangey. But I think I'm going to have to choose Sam because at least it looks red instead of purple. Through drought and famine, natural disasters, my baby has been around for me. Kingdoms have fallen, angels be called.
Although this is very relaxing, we're gonna skip ahead and get right to Felicity's face. Now that the blushing is done, we are going to do one last final coat. That's just going to protect certain things like the nails. Um, we are dealing with brown and many coats of brown. So I just want to protect it from rubbing. Uh, mommies will be, or families, will be dressing the baby or bathing the baby. And I just want to make sure that everything is protected. So before we put on this final coat, I am using some rubbing alcohol. I'm washing everything off or wiping everything off. I want to make sure there's no lint. I'm finding little pieces of hair still sticking to the kit. And we're going to do all of the limbs, all of the pieces. But we're going to jump ahead and get to Felicity's head. going to be paying extra attention to providing a protective layer on uh, Felicity's mouth and lips because she will be taking a pacifier and that's probably the most use of this whole doll is uh, you know of course we're going to be dressing and undressing her but putting in that pacifier in that baby bottle so if we can put an extra protective layer of silicone concentrated there will be able to save and preserve the color of her, her mouth because her lips are such a beautiful color.
Okay, so I am not going to film myself um, putting this next layer of silicone onto the baby because it's just like the last little snippet. So, but I did make up a new um, mixture of silicone and I made it very extra runny. I know you can't really tell it here, but it is extra runny. It only needs to be wet enough to wet the baby and then we'll get right into the matting. It is very important to wear protective gear when you're matting. The powder is very fine. It's going to go airborne. It will get into your lungs. Um, I am wearing a mask. You can wear two masks. Wear a very good mask. I even put uh, a scarf over my head because um, it stays airborne for a while. So keep your mask on if you're gonna stay in the same room. Cover up anything that you don't want, a fine layer of dust. This is my dining room table. I have a towel on it. I move my fruit. <laughs> I don't wanna eat the dust. So um, I, just want to say that protect yourself. So the goal here is to make sure that we have very fluffy powder, not big clumps, and that we are leaving a fine layer. The layer is going to embed into the silicone and then it's going to rest on top of the silicone. We're not going to pounce it into the silicone. Basically what we're doing is we're dusting this baby. And every time I see some shine, I wanna cover that shine up. So I may do a, a part of this um, limb or head multiple times as more shine develops. And that's gonna help us to um, not have a shiny baby at the end of the matting process. And another thing is that the coat of silicone that you put on there has to be very thin. There cannot be any lumps or clumps. You have to pounce the silicone on a thin layer and then pounce it right back off and then mat before that silicone dries. So it is not an easy process, but if this is something that you're gonna do and this is the first time you're doing it, don't be afraid of it because anything that you missed, you can just go back and spot treat it. I'm pretty certain that we're gonna find little pieces that I've missed and we'll have to spot it. Also, this matting powder is really expensive, so uh, preserve it. I mean, you got to use it liberally, but recycle that.
to this. Step, step on up to this. Step on up to this crazy love. Hey, I'm classy, but I don't mind if you get at me. It's okay to get nasty, just the way that you like. You say I'm sexy, so bad they should arrest me. You can't forgive me. Gave you the time of your life. I just want to thank you guys for staying tuned and watching this process with me. I mean, it's it's been a, a wonderful journey. And after this baby cures, we'll finally get to see what she looks like without a, all of the shiny stickiness. Also, I want to show you my setup. I have a new hanging rack and it allows me to do multiple silicone kits at once. So um, that I got from Amazon. See you next time. I just gotta know. Cause you're talking about.